Welcome to Seattle, Washington. We're here at Smartsheet Engage. I'm Dave Nicholson with 6.5 Media on the road. And I'm here with a very special guest, Urmila Kukreja. How are you? I am good. How are you, David? I'm doing well. What do you do at Smartsheet? Well, I'm a director of product here. I call okay. myself the spiritual AI leader. I lead all of our AI initiatives at Smartsheet. AI, do you say? There might be some interesting things to talk about in that regard. So I'm going to start out with an easy question. OK? <laughs> Tell me about Smartsheet. From, yeah. your, from your perspective, what is Smartsheet? What is it all about? What's the value proposition? Smartsheet helps everyone work better. It's enterprise grade. It's AI powered. And it scales. Um, so when Overlake Medical Hospitals and Clinics that are right here in the Seattle area, they provide healthcare to a lot of our community here. Um, when they had to think about their um, strategic initiatives on how they want to transform healthcare, uh, they use Smartsheet for that. And uh, you know they were building this brand new campus. It's the biggest campus ever. It's got this state-of-the-art childcare center in it. They were using Smartsheet to plan and build it. Um, and what made it magical with Smartsheet is whether you're collaborating with your internal teams or whether you're reaching out to vendors external to your organization, this collaboration is super seamless. And the healthcare providers are also using Smartsheet. Um, and what that means when they're able to power a bunch of automation on Smartsheet, this is time they're able to give back to their patients because they're not on their computers. And of course, like this is a super um, simple story of saving time and the impact of time saving. But it's not just Overlake. You know, there's McLaren, there's Uber, there's Krispy Kreme Donuts, there's Lego. It's all of these enterprises. When they have to run their projects at scale, uh, they're using Smartsheet for it. And everything that they can do is only about to become like faster, better, cheaper with the AI power it's going to have on it. Well, I'm a huge Formula One fan, and I think a credible case was made during the keynote that um, McLaren's recent results have been driven primarily by Smartsheet. Of I accept course, that completely. there is no other reason, yeah. So we, we talked about sort of where Smartsheets has come from and where we are today. Um, how does that change from a customer perspective when AI enters the picture? Yeah. You know, uh, we think of AI as the technology that's helped us almost accelerate our core mission. Our mission has been to enable anyone to drive meaningful change. Like you don't need to be able, you don't have to be a programmer to be able to um, to, to drive a particular mission. You don't have you don't have to feel compelled to reach out to IT to get some work done. Uh, if you have an idea and you want to move it forward, you should be able to. And that's that's been kind of what we've been working at Smartsheet for the longest so, so time. So that sounds like that sounds like a generative AI example, where maybe someone is using more plain language to initiate the creation of what otherwise would create require code writing. Is that what you're sort of alluding to? Absolutely. So the idea is, you no longer need to be a power user to get the power from Smartsheet. All you have to do is be able to talk to your computer in a natural language in terms of what you were trying to achieve, and it's going to build it for you. And we've already seen some of that with formula generator. You know, you go and you talk about the KPIs you want to calculate, and AI formula generator is going to generate it for you. Uh, but there's more where, that we're building on top of this. We want to be able to spin up an entire solution based on what someone's described. We want to be able to update and build automations based on what someone's, you know, you're talking about a workflow you want to have, and AI is going to be like, all right, when this is complete, I'm going to go complete this. So this is, this is how it's going to make building easier, enable people to get in at the ground floor easier, too. And then there's the teammates. Like, we also want people to feel like their teams have superpowers. The most annoying part of like, I'll say most project managers is writing those status reports. Like it's really mundane, it's boring. And so we want to use AI to remove the boring from, from work. And so all of this repetitive work is, is wonderful uh, to pass on to your AI teammate. And again, with that, we've already launched the ability to create text and summaries. You know, help is available in the product. When you're stuck, you're able to get answers and context. And we want to take it further with writing those status reports for you automatically so you don't have to do that over and over. Well, so you, you, you sort of, I think, I heard two different pieces of the puzzle. Um, I differentiate between building and using. And if I'm a user and I'm using plain language to ask for something, I need to trust that 
it's being translated properly so that I'm getting the right information. So that's, that's, that's one level of trust that must exist, right? But if I'm using plain language to build something using the Smartsheet platform, I really have to trust that. Because if I'm asking for something to be built that's including things like formulas, if that gets baked in there and it's wrong, then garbage in, garbage out. So what, what's, your, what's your position on this concept of trust? Not necessarily from the security perspective, but just from the users trusting that this translation that AI is providing, if it's making it easier, but then you've got to go back in and edit everything, then it's not useful. Yeah. So how do, you, how do you get people to trust? It's, it's a great question. Um, there's a lot we've done in the, in the realm of trust, for, just for people to be able to uh, really feel like what's being suggested by AI is the right thing. And the operative word here being suggested, where the way we've, um, we've enabled AI into our platform is where it's kind of like your buddy, your teammate, your assistant suggesting answers to you, but there's still a human in the loop accepting it and saying like, this is what I really want to apply. Another feature that our customers really love is like we added the ability for AI to explain your work. So when okay. you ask it, you know, build me this chart of everything that's incomplete. I think it's going to come back and tell you, well, I looked at this sheet and I looked at all the tasks that were assigned to you. And I took, looked at everything that was not started and in progress. And, and that's why I came up with like, normally you're only behind. There's 52 items you have to do. Uh, and because I see that, I can come back and say like, oh, I actually didn't want it to call the not, not started tasks. I really just want incomplete. So because it's explaining the results, you have a chance to go in and adjust what you were asking for. That's, that's been a, a big part in, in building trust with our users. I know you said not, you, you weren't really thinking about security, but that is really a big part of okay. using our AI tools in Smartsheet. Um, you know, if, if it's got the stamp from your CISO, if it's approved by your organization, that really does go a long way in, in adoption. People are feeling a lot more confident. Uh, to that effect, we wrote a white paper that's been received really, really well. Like we've heard from some of our, some of the CISOs at our customers' organizations that this is the best documentation they've, they've been able to get, uh, which is really good. It, it goes a long way in, in allowing for these AI tools within their organizations, so. So when, when a system is making a recommendation, um, there are varying views on how much a user needs to be able to see inside the black box to understand the inner workings. Do you think that given the choice, smart cheat users would rather be able to ask a, the system, show me how to build the following functionality that I need? Or do you think people are beyond that, or will they quickly get beyond that, where all they want is, no, 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 don't show me how to do it. Just do it for me. Where, where, where do you think we are in, yeah. that, in that evolution? Uh, I think this is, this is where people are in their smart sheet journey, but more where they are in their AI journey at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, they do want AI to suggest stuff for them. But then very quickly, they're like, well, can you go build this for me? And then now that you've built it, explain to me why this is your recommendation. Uh, and then don't go off and take a bunch of actions. Like, I still want to stay in control. Personally, I think this is going to change once they've built a lot more trust in the systems. But at this point, my, my expectation is that people still want to feel like they want to be able to approve or at least understand why certain results were suggested to them. Put your closet marketer hat on for a moment. We all want what we deliver to have a certain stickiness associated with it that's derived from the true value of what we're offering, right? You want people to want it and want to hang on to it because they really appreciate the value of it. Do you think that making it so simple to use that people have, don't have to have any understanding of the underlying tool set, does that is that a good thing for a company because you're, you're helping the customers or does it make you more replaceable at a certain level? I don't know if this is something you think of in products specifically, probably thinking of making the best product possible, but I just, I wonder if when you are using AI to do something for you as opposed to show you how to do it, it doesn't connect you as much as showing you how, which could then make a bunch of power users. 
Am I, am I misguided there? Or, or people just saying, look, I want you to be able to do it for me. Don't explain it to me, just do it for me. Uh, I think right now people are very much wanting to see the explanation. I think it comes from a place of, did I even, like what it helps validate is did I even ask the right question? Because you know, when you're, sure. when, you're, when you're writing these prompts, you're just not even sure if, um, you know, when, when we talk to each other, like we have this multi-tone conversation that will go back and forth. And I think people are starting to use AI like that, where they'll go ask the first question, it'll go do something. And when it can explain why it suggested what it suggested, you can go back and ask it the next question. And I think that's how it's going to continue to be, at least these conversational AI interfaces. So in, in, in that regard, or having to do with anything related to Smartsheet, do you have a favorite feature or function that people, people say they love or that you particularly like, especially if it's something that not a lot of people are aware of? What's your, what's your favorite hack? Or trick. I'd be surprised if not a lot of people are aware of this, but I'm really passionate about saving people time. So automation is a feature that I deeply, deeply care about. Um, I think we have so many examples of people telling us they're able to save at least 20, 30 minutes in meetings because because they decided to use automation. To well, what's a concrete example of something I could automate? Um, let's look at Krispy Kreme donuts. I like, I love okay. donuts. Uh, so. Um, well, what Krispy Kreme Donuts has, has done for their meetings is just before a, a project meeting, well, the way they've got their project set up is um, they send out update requests to everyone on their team to come in and provide their updates. And then the project manager receives a notification whenever those updates are made. So now when they go in a meeting, you know, you're not going around the room asking everyone, for what's the latest on this project? Like all the information's right there. Uh, and they're saving time in these, in these meetings. And just coming back to AI, we're about to make automation even, even better with AI. So you asked a great question. Like, what is something I can do with, with automation? And we found that a lot of people, you know, they know where automation exists in the product, but they're not able to find exactly the right use cases for it, or maybe they feel a little intimidated building it. You know, we talked about, do you want to just build this for me or explain to me? And so with AI, they'll be able to just explain the process that they want automated and Smartsheet will go in, Smartsheet AI will go in and build out the automation for you. And as it's building it, you'll be able to kind of say like, this is the trigger condition, so if you wanted to go in and adjust it or tweak it, you know, we talked about like, well, maybe it didn't get my prompt correct, you'd be able to go tweak it right in there. Also, I think multiplicative inf um, impact with like just, just the way we'd be able to scale the usage of automations with AI, so you can imagine there's this sheet that's got, uh, lots of stuff in one language, and you're like, I'm going to apply AI across all of it. And so anytime a new submission comes in, like let's just translate it into another language so it's available to more people is, is something you'd be able to do with automation and AI. I'm, I'm really excited about all the time we'll save with that. <laughs> I think a lot of people are excited about, yeah. about uh, all of the possibilities that AI represents. Irmala, great talk on AI, smart sheet, seems to be doing the right things, collaboration with Amazon securing people's data, which is always a good thing. I'm looking forward to more natural language processing because people who know me know that I love the sound of my own voice. <laughs> Sad but true. So from Dave Nicholson, Irmala, thanks for joining us today. Stay tuned for more from Smartsheet Engage.